Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week, the time of year is upon us talking about spring trends for 2020. But uh, because this is a slow fashion channel, I don't really believe in chasing after fleeting trends or things that we might only wear a few times before getting tired of them. I've distilled some of this season's trends down to the ones that I think might be useful for different style personalities and when we wear these trends, how they translate through our own personal style and our different body types. So I hope this perspective gives you a little bit of a different insight and a different way to look at these trends. So grab your tea, mine is Clearly almost finished. I should have gotten a refill before I started. Uh, anyway, and let's jump on in. I'm actually going to start off by saying that there were very, very many trends this season. I chose the trends that I found have the most longevity and interest to them. And also, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt um, because everyone's personal style is so different. So I definitely do encourage you to do your own research and watch other channels and their spring trend reports to really get a sense of what will work best for you. One of the first trends that I highlighted was the suiting trend, and this was really popular over the past few seasons. We saw suiting on all very different runways, like Jill Sanders, Celine, Burberry. We saw this beautiful tailored suiting in all sorts of different silhouettes, a lot of different colors and patterns. Now, coming at it from a personal style perspective, I really think that suiting is great for people who love that crisp sense of polish and who want to always feel put together. You really can't not feel put together when you're wearing these beautiful, crisp, clean lines of a suit. Also really great if you're working in an office environment because you're balancing out that sense of authority with the really great crisp silhouette, but you have a really beautiful range of prints and colors to choose from. So it's a nice balance of personality and authority. I think all body types can benefit from wearing suiting simply because it creates a nice, beautiful, monochromatic look. So the eye is really seeing either one color or one print head to toe, and this can have a really nice lengthening effect. Pay attention to the tailoring in the suit and how that will affect your body type. is so much fun and I think it's 2020's take on florals for spring. It's centered around very big and bold tropical prints. So they come across as being a little bit geometric at times, but it feels, I think, quite classic. But when it comes to style personality, I think you definitely cannot be a wallflower and wear this print, even if you wear it sparingly in smaller parts of your body, it's still incredibly loud and bold and attention-seeking. What's important to make sure that it has longevity in your closet is that it incorporates the colors that you already have hanging in your closet so that it's not a complete wild card and you can't figure out what to wear it with. So make sure it's either grounded in a certain neutral that you like to wear or, like I said, keep it in line with the color palette that you've already got going on in your closet. I do think every body type can wear a huge, bold, tropical print. It'll just really depend on which garment you buy and where it falls on your body. What's important to remember is that this big, bold print is going to draw the eye. is one of my favorites and that is shorts. There have been a lot of sportswear and leisure trends over the past few years but there hasn't really been a huge focus on shorts and I'm a huge fan of them. In terms of personal style I really think the shorts trend suits anyone who um, likes to have a more casual and relaxed vibe about them. When it comes to different body types I do think everyone can wear a short. It again will just depend on where the hem falls to a point that you're comfortable with. I 
feel like we've seen leather in the past, I don't know, five seasons uh, in all sorts of different iterations. And for spring, designers like Bottega Veneta and Ferragamo came out with colorful leather. And of course there are some great faux leather options as well if this is something that you're interested in. From a style personality perspective, I think this is quite a versatile trend, provided that you purchase it in a color that is already part of your closet so that it seamlessly integrates with what you already own, and also provided that it's a color that you love no matter whether it's on trend or not. I do think these are great pieces for anyone who has more of an edgy or urban style personality. I also do think this is great for someone with a little bit more of a bold style personality because the interesting color paired with the interesting texture is like a little bit of a double whammy. So you do have to have confidence in carrying these pieces off. As for body types, of course, anybody can wear colorful leather or faux leather if they like. It'll really depend, especially if it's in a brighter color, where you want the eye drawn. I also think leather or faux leather, because of that structure that it gives, can really be advantageous to own if you want to either accentuate a silhouette, such as a small waist, or, you know, make your shoulders look a little bit broader because of that stiffness. So it can also help you really smooth out your silhouette or give you a little bit of a silhouette that maybe you want to fake a little bit. You will not be surprised with this next one. I feel like there's always some sort of iteration of this every season, although this year we're calling spring pastels sorbet. Uh, that's because these are like pastels on steroids. They have a little bit more amped up color than the regular spring pastels that we often see. These colors showed up on runways like Valentino and Chanel. And I think this is great because it means you can wear them a little bit further into the season. Something like a richer lavender is easier to pair with a winter white or a cool moto jacket in the fall than it is to wear something that is like a very, very pale lilac or lavender, for example. So that's why I chose to include this trend. I do think it can be a lot of fun if you are looking to add a little bit of color in your closet. Just make sure that you add something that complements whatever neutrals you're using Using often. In terms of style personality, this goes definitely with anyone who has a little bit more of a feminine and playful side to them. A little bit bold, but these can also very easily be incorporated into a neutral palette or a minimal closet as well. And of course, when it comes to body type, everyone can wear a bright or fun color as long as you love it and you're wearing it in a place where you want the eye drawn to. And also when it comes to color, I've said this before that even if you see a color that you really like but you know it doesn't look great right up around your face, you can absolutely wear this color either in pants or a skirt or footwear or through accessories. I don't think there is a reason to immediately dismiss a color that might add just the little hint of what we need uh, into our closets so that we can really start re-wearing our pieces with a little bit of new life. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that little mini trend report and I will continue our slow fashion trend series when I shop my closet for a couple of trends. I always like doing that video, so uh, stay tuned. That one's gonna be coming. Uh, if you like this video or if you learned something new, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. It really means so much that, you, that you're watching the channel and supporting. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful week. I think I already said that. Okay, ciao!